During World War II, scientists at sea were using sophisticated echo technology to track submarines when they turned up surprising information about the ocean floor. There they found a stretch of underwater ridges made of continually erupting volcanoes. The mid-ocean ridge is formed when molten rock rises from inside the Earth and then pushes the crust apart. A vast spreading seafloor strong enough to move the continents. Not only is new crust formed at mid-ocean ridges, but it dips back down again into the interior of the Earth. You put this all together, and what you get is plate tectonics. The idea that the Earth's crust can be broken up into large pieces or plates that consist of both continents and also pieces of oceanic crust moving together over the face of the Earth. When two plates collide, sometimes one is pushed downward and melts into magma. Eventually, this red-hot material rises to the surface and explodes, creating a volcano. So new crust is born at mid-ocean ridges and destroyed at deep ocean trenches, like a never-ending conveyor belt. And two plates simply nudging each other can cause catastrophic results, like when the San Andreas Fault slipped in 1906. How fast do the plates move? If you live in the US, you're probably standing on the North American plate. In the course of one year, the ground under your feet will move about two inches. And over long periods of time, that's enough to reshape the Earth, build mountains, trigger earthquakes, and create volcanoes. 